Howdy, I'm your host, Houston Mitchell. Let's get right to the news. From Ryan Cartier, such little had gone according to plan through this maddening mess of a Sunday matinee. From its copious scoring slumps to the umpteen opportunities blown by both teams, but 39 minutes and 40 seconds of slogging through one of its stranger games in recent memory had still left USC. So many other chances had already slipped from their grasp Sunday that each of those final seconds passed in anxious succession, the whole of Galen Center holding its breath. Even Ellis had missed a baseline jumper just 30 seconds earlier to take the lead. But after a strange, sloppy afternoon, all number 17 USC needed was for one final shot to fall, hopefully erasing the mostly unpleasant affair that came before it. That final shot, too, seemed destined to miss when Ellis lifted off, fading away at the free throw line with little space to operate between Washington State defenders. It even clanked off the back iron before falling fortuitously forward into the hoop, allowing USC to escape amid the mess with a 62-60 victory over Washington State. We were fortunate to pull this one out, USC coach Andy Enfield said. For Ellis, it wasn't so much good fortune as intestinal fortitude. It was the particular kind of big moment he'd talked all season of having at USC, one that would help cement his place in his new program. The transfer from Memphis had been a steadying hand for the Trojans all season, but no performance was arguably more important this season than the one he put together Sunday. Ellis scored a season-high 21 points, capping the heroic performance with his first-ever buzzer beater. It couldn't have come at a better time for USC, which now faces three of the Pac-12's top four teams over its final four regular season games. We live for those moments, Ellis said of his shot. The USC women's basketball team fell out of step with visiting Colorado and took a 67-54 loss to the Buffaloes in the Trojans' final home game of the season. USC goes to 11-14 overall and to 4-11 in Pac-12 play, while Colorado improves to 18-7, 7-7. Colorado made five first-half three-pointers and led it 35-27 at halftime. 